number problems, optional problem. So this is just an additional example to help you out if you still aren't quite sure what you're doing after watching the first example. This question is question number three from the practice at the bottom of your handout. So our question says the sum of two consecutive even numbers is 278. What are the two numbers? So first thing I want to do is look for my total and look for my comparison because every question should have some type of comparison between your unknowns and then some type of total or equation that you're going to use to solve. So I do notice that it says that the sum is 278. That's my total. That's what I'm going to make my equation out of. Um, for the comparison with consecutive numbers, it looks a little different. It's not you know, one number is five more than another, another number. The comparison is that they are consecutive even numbers. That is the comparison. So when I'm doing a word problem, I want to start with some let statements. I want an equation. I need to solve that equation. Then I have to take that answer and find the answers to the actual problem and then write a sentence at the end. So I'm going to start with let statements for my unknowns. Uh, the final sentence says, what are the two numbers? So I am missing two numbers. So I'm going to let something be the first number. I'm going to let something be the second number. So when they are consecutive even numbers, Consecutive even numbers are things like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So all of these numbers are two digits apart. I would have to do 2 plus 2 to get 4. 4 plus 2 gives 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So if I let my first number be x, my second number should be two numbers bigger. So x plus 2. So the total that they add to the sum is 278. That means if you take the first number and you add the second number, you should get 278. From my let statements, I know that the first number is x and the second number is x plus two. And that should equal 278. So x plus x plus two equals 278. Now all I have to do is solve my equation. I do notice that I have like terms, so I'm going to add my like terms together. x plus x is 2x, and then plus 2 equals 278. I am going to subtract 2 from each side. So I get 2x equals 276 and then I'm going to divide by 2 276 divided by 2 is 138 so x equals 138 so at this point, I often think that I am done the question, but if I check my little checklist here, I've done the let statements, I've done an equation, and I solved, but I still haven't actually answered the question, so I need to go back and find the answers to the question and then write a sentence. So my question did say, what are the two numbers? So I'm going to come back to my let statements. I know the first number we said was going to be x, and my second number is going to be x plus 2. And then all I have to do is take x, which we got to be 138, and sub it in. So the first number is just x, so it's 138. My second number is x, 138, plus 2, which would give me 140. Now before I write my sentence, I am just going to check to see that those add to 278. So 138 plus 140 does equal 278. So I'm just going to finish this off 
by saying therefore, the numbers are one hundred and thirty eight and one hundred and forty.